Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoy the content. I'll see you later. Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another Agito Live video. This time I am going to be just doing something that I don't normally do. Um, I'm gonna fight the boss. I'm gonna fight the new weekly boss and just kind of give a showcase of how to fight it now remember this is my main account i do have i am a whale i do have some characters that are e2 no characters that are e6 my kafka is e4 and i'm not sure if i'm going to use her or not as you can see i'm just unlocking this uh so i haven't like tested or anything along those lines not only time i fought it was in the story um so spoilers obviously if you uh if you don't know uh, what's going on here, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into this. If you're if you're watching this video and you're trying to learn how to fight, like, I'm not gonna try to avoid saying spoilers. I think if I'm okay, this was the team that I used while running around, but it was not the team I used to fight the boss. I think if I'm okay, the team I used to fight the boss. I haven't checked. The, I'm still editing those videos. Uh, I haven't got to that part yet. I, if I remember correctly, I used an Acheron team. Because this boss, from my understanding, summons several adds that are all physical, physical fire lightning week or something like that. I can't remember. They might all be imaginary week because of the new imaginary trail wizard. And I'm going to try to use him in this. I think this is the team I'm going to try. I think this actually might end up being the team I'm going to try. Because Himiko, my Himiko is not the most built. She could be better. I have her on a crit rate chest piece. She probably wants a crit damage chest piece. There are a lot of enemies in this fight, so Night, night on the Milky Way will actually probably be pretty good. Ron May, uh, for anybody who's like been paying attention right now, um, this boss requires a lot of toughness break and weakness break, and weakness break efficiency helps uh, a lot, and so combining Harmony Trailblazer and Ron May um, together is a really, really good idea. Now, my Harmony Trailblazer is not, not very well geared. I barely have a set on him, right? And I think I have uh, 109 break effect. I'm using this currently. I think I need to be using I need to be using this, which I currently have on my Rod May. So it's not not great. And I don't think I don't know if there is another really good option outside of that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I'm using meshing cogs, so I'm just gonna keep using meshing cogs. And I think I have my energy recharge rope. Yep. Some brick effects. And this was not what I originally intended. I wanted this to roll this, so it's the best I've got right now. Uh, while keeping the energy recharge and increasing the imaginary damage. Now, that's the thing. I don't really need to increase the energy ma the energy the imaginary damage since I'm using uh Himiko. Another character I consider using for this is actually Daniel. Uh now that I'm thinking about it. Call me back. in your heart. No, oh, I got a quest. I guess I don't know. Um, maybe there's a what, what was that? I'm actually I'm actually super curious what that was, what that achievement was for. Moment of joy. It triggered ten unique voice lines when adding a character's team with the Gito. Oh, okay. Oh. For a minute there, I thought it was like a special achievement for like bringing Daniel to this fight because you you call them but you don't call them to the fight. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is a this is a thought. This is a possibility, actually. Low on skill point, but my Daniel is E2. That's kind of one of the reasons I want to use Himiko here, because I feel like I feel like if you're if you're playing the game, whether you're a whale or not, or you're free to play, this is like a vibe, like this is a team you could have. Locho was a is a very popular healer. He's very comfortable. Um, he has an AoE imaginary uh, damage coming out to help with breaks, with Ron, especially with Ron May. And then Himiko loves breaks because she gets more of her follow-up attack stuff. So I think I think this is what we're going to do. I have her on two piece follow up attack, two piece fire damage with Salsado. Uh, this is what she has. They're not the greatest pieces in the world. I genuinely think this could be better, um, but I don't know how much crit rate I lose with that. Let's switch to that for a second. This is actually a really good piece. And fire damage and attack, and I think that's like the only fire damage one I have on that set i do not have any others it's not very good but it's what i got so i feel like these are very relatable relics uh so i know some people were struggling i had a couple comments about people struggling on this fight and trying to beat it so let's see how much i struggle 
uh, trying to beat it as well. What does that put our query at? 41, 177. That's a little low. She does get some of her uh, I think there's a trace in here. Trace in here gives her 15 when her current HP is above 80%, which is not bad. It's means we'll have 55 crit. I like the consistency. That's the thing. I like consistency more than anything. So I'm going to go back to this and we'll just go from there. Unless I have a different, unless there is a better like crit damage ratio. No, no, no. You know what? Let's not, let's not get too crazy about it. Uh, this is the Harmony Trailblazer, Light Cone, Traces, Relic Sets. This is my Ron May, Light Cone, Traces. She's not even maxed actually. And Relic Set, two piece, two piece, two piece, triple two piece. And she's got 161 break effect, which means the bonus from him, the bonus from her own passive. It's going to be a lot of break effect back and forth. This is my Locha, 4k HP, uh, 1000 defense. Uh, 3,200 attack, not max traces, but pretty much there. Uh, four piece, two piece, uh, effect rise and crit damage. So yeah, and he is on his own, his own four star light cone. So no signature light cones except for Himiko. And let's see, let's see how this goes. There we go. I believe. I'm in the auto off. Still the, the mood is set just right. Let the show begin. That's fine. All right. I love this music. The music is super, super good. Might be a little loud. You guys not, might not be able to hear me very well. I'm going to turn that, turn that down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Turn that down a little bit and then go from there. Uh, I'm going to mostly focus on the main target and allow the Trailblazer to try to break everything else. I'm going to use Himiko for this as well. I do think Himiko, this is like Himiko's fight because there's always going to be five enemies on the field, right? The feel is very, very good. That was a lot of damage. Oh, damn. Received divinity. So this okay. is the one of life. Still don't Use Himiko's ult for all the breaks. Okay, I like this. Basic. Every petal all will be swept away. These are ultimates. Way. My Ronme is E1. My Ronme is E1. That's the only that's the only idol on here. I just love it up. I'm gonna do this to get the field up so we start healing. Kinda need that. It's more breaks. Wait, those breaks. Or were they already broken? I think they were already broken. I think they were already broken. That's why it didn't trigger. Uh, Let's improvise. Smack him with this. Smack him with that. Smack him with the train. Bam! So cool. Yeah, Himiko doing good. This is good. This is, this is actually working out pretty well so far. First phase. It's just, it's just the first phase though, so. Just the first phase. Take your positions. Oh, I'll go ahead and use his ultimate. I like I love how the male trailblazer is so much more saucy than even than even like the female the female trailblazer as harmony. It's great. Awesome. This is actually going really well. I think I'm going to try a different team comp after this as well, just to showcase another viable option. I think their dot team is actually viable with this too, with Gwen Iphone. So we'll see about that. All right, go ahead and repop this buff. We're almost out of this phase. I'll see you off. Almost out of this phase. There we go. Come on. Damn. Wow. Enjoy. I don't know what that is. It's, oh, it's a sleep buff. Sleep you up. Isn't that like every turn you heal somewhat or whatever? All right, phase two. That hurt. Receive divinity. Stay in step. Let's improvise. Trailblazer skill. Our skill would be with all that extra efficiency break from. Um, Use her ultimate to get the breaks herself. Super break damage. Super good. Yes. Hell yeah. And Locha should proc some super break damage with this as well, actually. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. Yeah, this feels this feels really good, actually. This team feels incredibly good. I'm trying to think in my head who else you would have with this and like Honestly, weirdly enough, like a Trailblaze team of March 7th and Welt on this team would actually probably do pretty good because 
March, you would you have the passive shield from this, so March's shield would be extra helpful, and then her AOE would also proc, proc all the super break, and then Welt would proc one imaginary break as well, and then slow down the enemy. Might actually be a viable team. Might try that too. Uh, we're gonna hold on and using the train Take your uh, for uh, let me go other things. break damage. The shield this is good. More AOE is better. Another fight where Iridition shines. Right. There's a move about to start. You chose the wrong enemy. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't know what mechanics are. Uh, everything woke up, so let's go ahead and use the train. Nice. We get the break, which means we get her follow-up attack. We just, oh, we get, oh shit, I messed that up. I messed that up. I meant to cast his. No, we didn't get all the extra damage and stuff. Crap, 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 crap. So that's something you gotta keep attention to, right? Is his, his like, Ron May's ends at the start of his turn, so make sure you do that, otherwise you won't get the energy back from the skill you're about to use. Super break. Nice. That super break damage is so good. Like incredibly good. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. I kinda want him to not wake up. Let's get that extra damage. I know we won't get the breaks with this, but let's get su Damn! I didn't even I didn't see the damage number, but that was so much. Oh no. The inevitable day has arrived. Alright, here's the cut. Pretty cool. Cut. Will reshape for us all the reality. Okay. I swear on truth. I'll see you off. First day of truth. All right, we got to phase three pretty, pretty nicely. We just got to build up that shield. Let's improvise. We got to break as much as possible. I have something for you. Now, I think when I did the story the first time, there was um, music seared. Um, I had like an 18k shield, and he broke through it like completely. It was, it was pretty rough. So let's see. Uh, make sure we get there. On the fifth day. Take your positions. Dreams do come true. The mood is the cast his ultimate. Yeah. This is about to do a shit ton of damage. On this. Um I actually want I know we get more, but I want to run back. Okay, we should be okay. Should be okay. Yes, awesome, fantastic. Yeah, no, this is this was this was really straightforward. I I think using Harmony Trailblazer is really key here, and obviously Ron May makes this like super super easy, right? In terms of like having enough efficiency to break. So it'll be interesting to try this again with a different team that doesn't quite have. Oh, I won't use Ron May next time. I want to see how they go. I won't use either of them. I want to see how how it's possible to. Uh, if it's possible to go against this. Generate a skill point. And then with this. I'm gonna save the train for when he is uh back in another state. I'm generating skill points right now. No. Okay. Alright, so saved our skill points. He gets delayed again by Ron May, which is actually pretty nice, and I forgot to cast my ult at the beginning of my turn. So Cast here. We'll use her basic here. Her, her skill. He should recover. And now he can start doing damage to all of this stuff again. Just spam through it, right? Get as much shield as possible. Let's go, Himiko. Himiko shining. Look at this. So if you have a Himiko on your account, you've got like that E1, E2, E6 Himiko. Build her and use her for this fight, and she will she will, she will do great, I think. You got a pretty good sized shield now, too. I think on average, you probably want about a 1500 like, shield. Otherwise, you're, you're probably going to take a lot, like, too much damage. And a basic attack here. We're on sixth, the sixth day. His name ended up being so fitting, by the way, being Sunday. They did a really, I think, um, my my first impressions video has already come out. 
But I think, like I said in that video, Sunday was my favorite part about this story. I think they did a really, I think Sunday of the character was a really, it was a really fun and interesting character. They did a good job with that. Okay, 27k shield. Oh, we actually broke him, broke him. Yo, he never got his attack. We broke him, broke him. Holy shit, I didn't even know that was possible. Wait, what? That is so much break. That is, that is, okay, yeah, this team's kind of, these two together are kind of cracked. So if you, okay, look, you may not have Ron May, but you definitely have Trailblazer, right? You definitely have Harmony Trailblazer. Maybe that's what I'll do is I'll try with Harmony Trailblazer. That'll probably work. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Because everybody should have Harmony Trailblazer. And I want, I want to showcase why you should build him because he's really freaking strong and i think that right now what just happened is a really big showcase of that that's insane all right let's finish him off the train Bam. there you go there you go and uh the relics that are from this are actually pretty nice again himiko himiko break effects take that uh we'll take that because of speed and effect and all that stuff on it. it might be useful for somebody um we're gonna change our lineup and do this one more time uh, but we're going to change this up, and we're going to take Himiko and them out. We're going to bring in Kafka, Gwen Ifen, and Blazer, or in whatchamacallit, and keep, I think I'll just keep Locha, um, because Imaginary. Again, if you have Locha, he's probably the best for this because of Imaginary. Uh, the other one, technically you could probably use Blazer as well, would probably not be bad. In fact, I want to try that out after this as well. I'll try another team lineup. But for now, I think this is... Because I could use Hoa Hoa, but she doesn't have a break here. doesn't have a break here, and I don't have a Venturine. A Venturine is going to be... Like, if you have a Venturine, it's absolutely going to be the better the better choice. Uh, because of the way he uh, will break things. Um, I'm going to have to exit this, because I don't know if Gwen Ifen is actually built. So let me just exit, actually. I know she's gear. I know she is, like... Uh, uh, she has stuff on her, but I don't know... Yeah, she has Welt's Light Cone right now, because I had switched Welt to this. So we're going to switch to that. And uh, not everybody's going to have... I'm going to keep the S4. I was going to switch to her S5, but not everybody's going to have this. My Now, my Kafka is E4, so this is kind of kind of busted. But I want to showcase, like, a dot team against this, and then you can swap out. Like, if you have Black Swan, cool, but you can swap out Black Swan, and you can use Gwen Ifen. And Gwen Ifen has her ultimate. Um, this is my Gwen Ifen build, right? Not think too crazy. Um, decent amount of effect hit rate. Uh, okay amount of attack, right? Uh, but her ultimate, the way her ultimate works is it hits everything, right? So that'll be really useful for break. And then her skill is a three target, which will be kind of like a Himiko S kind of thing. And then bringing the defense down on that too. So these, this will be fun. I like this. I, I actually been wanting a reason to do this because this was actually my old dot T before, um, uh, which we call it came out. But now I even have Harmony Trailblazer. So yeah, let's, let's give this a shot. Here we go. One more. Another one. And another one. And another one. All right. We start with this, and then actually we'll immediately go into this. Why not? And one of the things I'm not doing is remember you can actually use your technique points and and food before you go into these fights as well, right? So that's something to consider. As well. Basic. And we can use Kafka's ultimate here. All right. You can get some good breaks in. Get the trailblazer in there. You can also use energy. You can use energy food to have max energy before you get into the fight. There's like so many ways to make the fight um, really good for you. Work it without a god. Ooh, we got an achievement. Everybody was broken before uh, he got his turn. Nice. We'll use Lochon now to uh, bring him down a little bit. Keep using Kafka on the main target. And then we'll use Gwen. Again for the break. Now here's the thing on Gwen, you're probably gonna start using Vegas attacks, basic attacks on her uh, at times, right? Because otherwise you're not gonna generate as much. And you definitely want to use Trailblazer's skill more often because you want to make sure he has enough energy for his ultimate, right? Whereas Gwen can apply everything that she does with just her basic attack um, after after she's got the break, and then she'll trigger the super breaks. And then Kafka will trigger the super breaks and just tons of damage. So it's good. It's good stuff. This actually gives me a way to use uh, Kafka with with uh, with uh, Trailblazer. I actually really like this. I really like Harm. I think Harmony Trailblazer is so good. It's 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 insane. It's actually kind of crazy how good Harmony Trailblazer is because Physical Blazer was okay. Like it's not 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 insanely good, not insanely strong or anything like that. 
but it was okay. And then Fire Blazer had its had uh, his or her niche, right? Very, very, good. especially with Acheron and the uh, the Future Market Light Cone, right? It brought another another way to use uh, the character, and I think that I think they've done a really good job of making the Trailblazer really good, but not like completely busted. But Harmony Trailblazer kind of reminds me of like when Dendro. Uh, Traveler came out. It was like, wow, this character is really good. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised, but also like not surprised because they, they just did a really good job uh, with this. So, uh, all right, cast his ultimate. Don't forget cast it. Huh? Cast his ultimates. Then we go into his skill. We throw the train at him. Freaking! Lo I love that they made the train part of the fight. I will say that 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 is one of the coolest in fight abilities is just smacking the boss with the train. It's so good. Stand still. Good right, we go to that to Kafka. And then use your skill. We're waiting for Locha's turn to pass before he uses ultimate, so we can another proc because I think it's gonna run out. Yeah, there we go. Not sure to break. Take your position. We got our shield back. Use skill. Really, we only need the defense down on the main boss, which can be applied with Gwen Atkins, uh basic attack, right? So we're actually doing perfect in terms of uh, like build and like skill skill efficiency. Locha, that's the other thing with Locha in here, is Locha also adds to that skill efficiency because he's literally just basic attacking, which procs both Super Break and Kafka's follow-up attack for extra break. So, very good throw. Ooh, that was a bad timing. Apparently, well, Kafka's too fast now. It's okay. We're gonna hold off on this, and uh, we'll use the train when he wakes up. There we go. Stay by to breathing. Cool. Now we use our skill. We got that shield again. That's unfortunate. That's going to take a bit to get through. It's okay. We got this. I believe. Fence down. Fire kiss is max. Who I think is the fire kiss. Right? Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure we weren't missing out on any uh, um, uh, stuff. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna skip it this We're going to skip it this time. Immediately, I, I had clicked it right before, so that's why it popped up. I didn't realize we're gonna go into the next stage. It's pretty good. I don't know how well this team will do in this section. We'll find out. Take your position. Dreams do come true. Like I doubt we're gonna like get through all of it. You know what I mean? I highly doubt that's gonna happen. But it's possible. Definitely possible. If it happened once, it could happen again. But then again, we don't have Ron May this time for the extra efficiency. So, so our shield may need to be uh, hopefully get adjusted accordingly. But then again, with with Locha's ultimate and Kafka's ultimate, I think I think we'll be okay. I think we're getting a good shield. We got a 1400 shield. Yeah, no, no, this is good. No, this is fine. I think this we we we're doing fine. And remember, the boss. The, that's the other key thing is the boss here gains weakness uh, to anything. So technically speaking, as long as you're able to get to the turf two phases with whatever team while weakness breaking, you can actually bring whatever you want for the, like that last phase, right? If there's a particular thing you want for that last phase. Smack him with the train. Alright, we got a we got a really good size shield, and we actually Wow, we're really close to actually breaking through him entirely again. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I think we'll be okay. Didn't even get through the sh Oh, and then it was Monday. We didn't get through the shield. I must be I bet you that's an achievement for that. That's awesome. And he's broken. Nice. Perfect. Super break. Super break makes basic attacks so much better as well, right? Because they because everything triggers it, right? So abilities like that are multiple hits are gonna be really good. So Oss is gonna be really good. Welt's gonna be really good with super with super break trailblazer. Her follow up attack probably also triggers triggers it as well. I would imagine actually. I didn't think about that. Let's find out. 
Those are basic. And then, yes, it does. Okay, that's actually good. God, it, dude, he's so good. He basically gives everybody like a break follow up attack, and that's like it's so strong. Can we kill him with the train? Can we kill him with the train? Damn. No death with the train. Oh, yes, he died from the dot. That's okay. That's good. Hey, there we go. See, that's another clear. I think that's another viable team uh, to use against that. I think that's really, really, really good. Uh, someone might want that. I don't know. There are characters who crit and break effect uh, coming out. Uh, let's try another team. Let's try another team. Let's see. What other team can we run? Can we run, run there? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A quick lineup. He's got fire, lightning. Oh, I know what team I want to run. I know what team I want to run. I want to run a Welt. Uh... Uh, this and uh, no, why do I have four? Where's my four? Oh, four is Lojo and this, and then I want to change him to preservation. This is my preservation blazer, and I want to see if this team is viable against this, right? So, my 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 Akron is E2. I know a lot of people pulled for this. My Akron is E2. I'm bringing Welt for the more imaginary and for the Nihility, the one Nihility I need for this. And we're still bringing Trailblazer because uh, of the way the FX work with that. And there's going to be a lot of targets to taunt. So let's see how this team works. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. So the way this team works basically is that Trailblazer, so Trailblazer, um, Fire, Preservation, his taunt will put a debuff on everything and that does actually taunts count as debuffs it doesn't give her a tick for every one of them but it does count for everything being a um, for, for being a debuff and with the way this mechanic of this fight works where you get a shield you may not actually need a sustain a consistent sustain I should say let's go ahead and proc her ultimate rapid back get those skill points back so we can get the energy back speed her up She's E2 with her Lycone. Immediately go into the ultimate. Go with this. Oh yeah, no, this is... this is, oh, That is disgusting. That was immediately disgusting. Okay, this is going to go way too quickly, I think. I have, a, I have a feeling. So that gets the debuff. And then the other thing with Blazer on this is that... Uh, it's unfortunate that they can't get Super Break. Because they can use their ultimate to also hit all the targets. So even Preservation Trailblazer is going to be really good against this boss. Yeah. Like, Akron is clearly, clearly going to be the best if you have her. And I know a lot of people do. So I think this is a good, I think this is a good showcase. And then, honestly, I think I'm just going to generate a skill point with Welt. Use the train. Use Welt's ultimate. And then use Acheron's ultimate, I weep for the and we just we just burn, burn through them. Bam. Yeah, no, this is this. I I should have known that this team was not going to have any problems. Actually, <laughs> they're way too well built uh, for this. Way too well built. I'm kind of curious how this is gonna go because I, I haven't played this team against it. Right? You guys saw I just got here for the first time. So, I want to see uh, how this is going to go. Um, there's Welt's ability, though. Um, if I use... Yeah, I got the debuff. The debuff on him. Still gets the debuff on him. Her crit damage buff goes up. We have no skill point, but that's okay. Because we get the proc on him beginning. Oh yeah, because uh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and then we just do this. Let's see how this. I want to see how much this does. Break. It didn't do a lot of break. We did get a. We're not getting a good shield. I can say that right now. We're not getting a very good shield. Um, we're not getting a very good shield at all. Actually. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem to have. Because he's about to go into phase seven. We have one more uh, turn. Yeah, that's not that's not the greatest shield. That's not the greatest shield. Let's see how this goes. I want to see. We got a 12k shield. Let's see how this goes. Trailblazer is not in defensive stance, so now we can reduce damage. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That wasn't so bad. 
So 12k shield, everybody almost died. So you probably need about 10,000 to block the damage decently enough because she almost died at 12 with 12k. So if it was a 10,000 shield, she would have died for sure. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to retreat because that team that team's going to clear. No problem. We know that team is going to clear. But I wouldn't be able to fight the boss again if I didn't have Trailblaze. Uh, uh, Charlie Star, which, by the way, if anybody over at Hoyoverse uh, for the team Hawker Star Wars is uh, uh, running, allow us to like fight the boss without rewards. That would be so good if we could just practice on bosses and fight them over and over, or just for showcases of teams and things along those lines. It'd be really, really nice. Please allow that for uh, for these. So, another team I want to try real quick is the Daniel team. My Daniel is also E2. And I usually run him with, uh, let's see, Sparkle, this, this, and Hua Hua. Now let's find out. Now this is with another sustain. The question I keep wondering is if you have enough damage, this is more, this is we're getting into whale territory here. If you have enough damage, do you even need that? I could just run, shoot, I could just run Harmony Trailblazer or I could run Ron May. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try a full out DBS team. Let's see how this goes. I want to see how this goes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's definitely one of those, if you build your teams right, you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, have too much trouble. Speed him up. The speed is, doesn't really work for us right now, but let's go. Now he is E2, keep that in mind. And I didn't use any other effects and that creates our skill points down. Okay. Alright, we have no healing. That's a waste. That was a waste. Um, we'll use it on her because <laughs> it's a waste. I didn't think he was going to get attacked. That was unfortunate. All right, here we go. We'll see if I can pilot this correctly. That's the thing. But this is why it would be fun if we could fight these bosses at any point in time, right? Without needing trailblaze power. You could test it. It'd be really good. I think she's going to get her ultimate. Yes. We get our skill points back. Oh, it was her turn. That was that was bad. Because his ultimate didn't give him a turn. That's what it was supposed to. Did I not just cast his ultimate? Maybe I just maybe I confused myself. Or I already did it. it. Alright, so we're okay. Not bad. We got through the first phase. And the little bit of shield we had there kept us alive. It's good. I messed up and used the skill point when I didn't need to. I'm going to just take some attack here. Yeah, of course, Tingan gets attacked the most. Why are we? Why is anybody? Is anybody surprised by this? I'm not. I'm not even in the slightest. Let's see how this goes. One point. We use the ultimate for another turn. Just the break. Gives us the train. Gives us another break. Damn. This. Thing I'm barely surviving right now. That shield. We're going to have to build a big shield on the next phase. That's for sure. I'm actually going to just build skill points real quick. I'm going to use my energy on her. And then her ultimate as well. And... We should get his ultimate again. We should get us into the phase transition. Cool. We don't, we don't need the cutscene again. We're, we're good. Thank you. And it's his turn. He's got a full hit. We should get us quite a bit of shield. Uh, we want the efficiency back. We're definitely going to need it. In phase two. We're going to go ahead and just use our base back. To have the skill point for this. Yeah, that's the only problem. We're running a low on skill points because I messed up my rotation. Let's shoot the train. Shoot the train! This could go bad. We got a 17k shield. I think we'll be okay. We have a 17k shield. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think. We got one in. Seven immediately went. Oh, we got a twenty near a twenty k shield. Will Tingyan live? No. Damn. Okay. Even at a twenty k shield, 
he destroyed us. <laughs> we took a little bit of damage still. So I'm not sure what kind of shield you need to take no damage, but it's probably very large. You probably need like a 30k shield to take literally no damage or 25k. So I think we had 25 earlier. Something like that. We got to rebuild this up now too. This is uh, awkward. It's awkward. It's very awkward. We got this. It's okay. We don't need a sustain. So this is something to consider though. We didn't we didn't have a sustain. Now we do have a super giga damage. But I'm wondering. Okay, I would be able to I'm gonna tell you right now, if I used his ultimate, he would die with another punch. I'm gonna reset one more time. I'm gonna reset one more time, because there's one more just want to look at other possible teams for people, because I know people, like I said, are kind of struggling on this. So again, we will bring Let's see, fire, lightning, and imaginary. I don't have, I don't think I have any other fire or imaginary DPS characters. So here's another scenario. Say you have Silver Wolf, right? If you want to use Silver Wolf here, you can run almost any team. You could run the Quantum team. You could run the Quantum team with Sparkle, right? This is another option if you have the Quantum team. And you don't even have to use her. You could use, uh, if, you, if you have her leveled up, you could use QQ, yeah. right? If you don't have Sparkle, you can use Bronya. Uh, there's a lot of options. I feel I feel like there's just a lot of options on the table. I think my favorites, I think my favorite team so far, if you have the option, is any team that includes these two characters, right? Any team that includes um, Harmony, Harmony Trailblazer, and Ron May is probably going to succeed no matter what. Like I would say. Like I think because of the fact that we don't need to sustain. I'm going to try one more team, and I think it's going to be the last one. Um, we need an Ihility, so we'll bring you. We're going to do this. So this should be all the debuffs we need between the two of them, I think. No. Let's bring Sparkle. Let's bring Sparkle. Let's just go all in on um, on this. I was trying to think if there's another character. It would be Aventry, and Aventry would be your sustain here. Aventry is probably going to be really, really well here. Unfortunately, none of my other accounts have reached this point in the story yet, so I can't really test that out unless someone has a support Aventry. I doubt it. Most people don't put sustains as their support characters, especially the people that I'm really friends with. They usually put their DPS to help with farming purposes. So, this one's got. Oh, that's an E. That's an E4. That's a little out of my class. All right, we're just going to go with this uh, E1, E2. E1, E0, right? We're gonna go with this. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. So we start with Sparkle's Ultimates. Into Sparkle this. Into that. To Ron May. And Ron May Ultimates. And then after that, we will do Trailblazer. Trailblazer's ultimate into Acheron's ultimate. And this should just be nuts. This should be absolutely insane. Boom. Exploded in one round. Damn. That's, that's nuts. We took a lot of damage, though. We took a lot of damage. It took a lot of extra breaks, but I did a lot of damage. Now, the problem here is we don't have a lot of debuffs. So I think maybe Welts would be better in that spot, because we also don't have a Nihility character here. I just realized that I don't have a Nihility character. That's why I was supposed to be running Welts. So. But it kind of didn't matter. Acheron still kind of slapped. I think she will slap more if Welts was here. So I may end up having to reset again just to uh, show that off. I don't think I will, though. I don't think I will. I think we're just going to keep going. I think we keep going, and I show how strong these characters are. More extra break damage. Okay. And then we speed her up again. Use her skill, and then her ultimate, and we wipe them all off the floor. Bam. Bam. And dead. Nope, we're good. We don't need it. All right, we got 24 shield left over from the previous turn. We do this. We pop our ultimate. I think we have enough turns to restack it up. We're starting with two stacks, right? We have Trailblazer's ultimate. 
Trailblazers Ultimates. This. Oh, we don't have her for. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. That's alright. Akron's coming up anyways. Akron's skill. We are going to need a skill point for that. I'm going to use. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use. That's the seventh day. Our shield is okay in size, but Trailblazer is probably going to die if we're not careful. So, I'm going to move her up. Oh, no, it's not enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure Trailblazer is dead. Oh, shit. Whole, whole team dead. Whole, whole team dead. Okay. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Retreat. We're gonna retreat. We're gonna retreat. Okay, so that didn't that did not work. That did not uh, that did not work out. So see, even when you're a whale, you can still fuck up your uh, your uh, team comp and not be not be successful. So so yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and reset that. Go back to the let's have a sustain. Let's have a sustain uh, just for just for the safety of it. And most people are not going to be able to do that, so let's just bring a sustain. You can even do like a double sustain cop. Here's the crazy part, okay? Um, I I definitely believe that in in the idea of you could use a double sustain comp, right? Say you don't have, say you have like Bailu or something. Bailu would probably work. Actually, Bailu probably would work. I don't have her built though, so unfortunately I can't really showcase that too much. Um. I guess I could move all the gear over to her from Locha if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so say you don't have like Locha or Fushuan and you're not trying to do like a super uh, super speedy DPS comp. I'm trying to make this as yeah. Let's go with this right here. There we go. Let's look at this. Here we go. This should this should this should actually be pretty good. Um, details. Let me go ahead and give her all of Locha's relics. Um, or let's just go with like high HP percent relics. I don't think I have the old healing set. Oh, actually, I'll give her whole hoes. Give her whole hoes. Whole hoes is also an HP scaling healer. That's right. Let's go with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is whoa, hoes? Whoa. Okay, there she is. Give her all of Hoho's pieces. She's on a two piece, two piece HP and speed set. And then I think she's on the, yeah. This and then energy recharge, yes, yes. Cool, perfect. And so my Bailu, I'm gonna, I'll keep her on this like one. It's a S5 though. Again, I'm a whale, so it's really hard to like not have the really good stuff. Uh, I don't have anything that's less than that leveled up. But here we go, and she is e she is e two, so she'll have a little bit more healing and a little more of this. But I definitely don't think these things are gonna matter. Um, my Asta, this is my Asta. She got like four k HP. She's got a little bit of break effect, uh, but she's another one of those characters who has multi hits right for the extra the extra bit. And then you have Himiko, which I think is reasonable for anybody to have uh, at least two standard five stars. Uh, two standard five stars, no limited five stars, all free to play care. Like these two free to play characters. Let's go. Here we go. This is the last one. This this should be successful. This should not. We should not have any injury with this. Time to get vigilant. <laughs> get speed up. Basic attack. Get this. You know what? Actually, there's one more thing. Actually, one second. Retreat. Let's retreat. Let's retreat real quick. So there's other, there's one other thing that you need to think about when you're doing these fights, right? Fight loop. Blazer. Inventory. Food. Just pick a food. Increase attack of all eyes. Crit damage. Sure. I'm just gonna use the, the elite food that I have because you can get these foods in the game really easily. Um. Struggle with battle, turning battle, fire damage taken for all eyes. Max we only increase attack. Plus two. Yeah, sure. There you go. There's the food. Two foods. You have two food in place. You have two food in place. You can you can also do this. Where is the energy recovery? It's, yeah. You can max out everybody's energy right off the back. So that you have everything ready. 
right? These are things to consider when you're trying to beat these fights is that you should use your item, use every tool at your disposal to beat a boss and you will be successful. Now I didn't do that for any of the other ones because that was morally showcasing. And you might, and here's the thing, if your team is really, really good, you don't have to do that stuff. But if you are struggling, that little bit of difference of having your ultimate right off the back, right? Having your ultimates right off the back, having these effects right off the back, right? is really, really good and something you should think about when you're trying to uh, play this boss. There's a reason that MOC and stuff start you at like half energy, right? And you can't use items in there because it is a massive advantage to be able to do this. Got all those extra breaks I got. Get some more breaks. Fantastic. This way we also have Bailey's Invigoration right from the start, so we get a little bit of healing back when he takes the damage. We immediately have his ultimate, so we can do this for some super break damage to get that shield, so we can use Himiko to get even more. It's just good, good stuff all around. My my Asa is a six, obviously. Speed buff again. Smack him with the train. Boom. Himiko goes ham. Himiko's, Himiko's gonna be so good for this fight. Anybody who has Himiko, she's gonna be so good for this fight because her, until the la up until the last phase, her her personal light cone is going to be up all the time if you have her signature light cone. If you have any other light cone, it's still gonna be good. Get that super ring here. I think Harmony Trailblazer is the best for this. So we don't have Ron May now, right? But I still think, I still think this is absolutely insane. Stay in step. Do come oh, I messed up. I didn't that. See, if you don't even pilot the team right, it can also cause you problems. Or cause you no problems, depending on, you know, what you're doing. Alright, she went into a dream. You have no cleanse here, but that doesn't really happen that often, I feel. Um, Kind of waiting for the others to kind of come unbroken. But you know what? I can just do super damage with them, so it doesn't matter. We want to, we want to clear fast, right? We want to clear fast. Do as much damage as possible. Plus, I think they have linked health, right? If I remember correctly, that's what this means. Right? Ability. Maybe. I figure, if I remember correctly, that means they all have linked health. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. So the more AoE damage you do, that actually the more damage you do, like, overall, basically. You have more targets to hit. Right? You're hitting more targets when you're doing more damage in general. Asta is awake. She lost all her buffs. It's okay. We can use her skill. Get the attack buffs in. Time for an damage in. We're almost through first phase. Basic. And a break. Into phase two. Get a good shield in place. Get a really good shield in place, actually. This is good. Dreams do come true. Yeah. Still the same <laughs> use basic. I have something I'm gonna use her basic to just get us back on a good track of skill points here. And then obviously using by the Here's the thing, you're noticing like this team right now is just Asta, what we call it, because of the way we've timed this, we actually even haven't even had to use any of Bailu's healing. This is why I'm saying that it's very it's very possible if you build the right team on this fight, you may not even need a sustain. Because if you get it a big enough shield, if you're breaking the enemy fast enough, you're getting a shield from the boss themselves, so you do not have to worry about sustain. Now the last phase you'll have to worry about it, which is why you probably still want to at least bring bring a single a singular sustain. But the train will also help you get a lot of those breaks to get a lot of those shields, especially if you break the boss. So I think there's a lot of ways that people, uh, if people are struggling this fight, to think about how to actually uh, get through it, where it is using where it, where it is using techniques, it's using items, and bringing characters that have multiple hits. Again, Asa is another good example of that, much like Welt. All right, we'll we'll cast by the ultimate here, so we have invigoration just to make sure nobody you know dies. Being at max HP is better than you know, sort of a preventative measure. Plus, invigoration is pretty preventative as well. Who 
I think what I'm gonna end up doing actually is changing this up a little bit, and instead of using maybe instead of using chemical skill, I use Asta skill, perhaps. But then again, I want Himiko's ultimate as fast as possible, so that may not be the best. All right, they got through the shield, and then Invigoration kept us up, so that's good. Let's use Asta skill here. Do a little bit more break in. Cool. This is good. Did the rhythm get messed up? Let's improvise. Okay. And we have Violet's ultimate again for when we need that. Um, this is going to break two of them, so we'll take it. Then we use the train. Do some super break. Break some more. More super break. And even more super break. I can't express enough. You should be using, you should be using uh, Harmony Trailblazer. Basically, what I'm saying. Use Wolfman again. And I just put that set together like right after the story, so you you don't even need to run that set. You don't. He just needs like survivability and break effect, right? HP, speed, break effect. That's it. Like HP, speed, a little bit of defense percent, break effect. That's it. It's like. It's, very straightforward build for him. You don't need to worry about crit stats. You don't need to worry about anything. Break effect. It's kind of like if you have played Genshin Impact, it's kind of like building element, elemental mastery teams, right? Consider, think of, think of Ron May kind of like a Kazuha kind of thing. And think of um, uh, Harmony Trailblazer probably, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's a good one on May. Like almost like a Nahida actually, believe it or not. Because of the way uh, he amplifies uh, break. So, we gotta get through this. I'm actually gonna use Bailey's ultimate here to get us back up, topped off. This, this fight's taking a little bit longer this time, right? You see, we don't we don't have as much speed in our damage, which means you have more room for error, more time for your enemy to do things like that to you. More time for him to build a shield up. Do the train again. The train is going to help you a lot when it comes to getting through this as well. That's the other thing. So don't don't uh, don't slack on using the train whenever it comes up because it's going to help you a lot. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Boom. Nice. We'll let it play one more time. Last time. We'll let this play. We skipped it every other time. We'll let it play one more time. Let's su let Sunday reach the sky. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality. Here we go. I swear on truth. We got his ultimates. I wish there was a visual indicator for his thing uh, outside of just down here, because like you know how Fushuan has her little her, her zone that kind of blinks uh, when it's uh, running out, just so I can remember it a little bit easier, you know. It's a jam. We use Asta's skill here because it's going to do the most break. Like, but in this in this stage, you're going to want to use Asta's. Uh, Asa skill and the Trailblazer skill for sure. We are not getting a very big shield. Okay. We're gonna do this and then cast that and then cast cast this. I don't think we'll get another turn. You might want to action advance forward on that one. That's unfortunate. We did not get a very good shield, but you know what? We have a healer. We have invigoration. Hopefully, we will survive. Yes, we did it. Cool. Let me just do this. Asta. Nope. Fully broken. That's good. Super break. Basic. I messed up. I messed up. Actually, this is an opportunity to get some skill points back. I should actually be using this to get skill points back. 
so we can be ready for the next phase. That's the other thing. Think about the phases that you're in. Right now, we don't need toughness break outside of with damp like for the super break damage. But what we're gonna have to worry about is he's gonna go into that phase again, right? So we might as well be ready for that. Because he doesn't necessarily take increased damage during this, but he's gonna go back into that uh, that phase again. So. All right, so here we go again. All right, so now we have everything up again. We do all this. We use Bailu's ultimate to make sure we're topped off and have invigoration for when that comes out. I think Bailu here actually does really well, right? Because the invigoration helps with the uh, the effects that come after the shield breaks, all the damage that comes out there. So it turns out to be really, really good. Hers. Yep. Got a 20k shield. That's really good, actually. We have a very good shield this time. We might actually get, end up with a massive shield this time. I'm gonna go all in on this. You only get shield when you actually break one of the bars, though. So that's like the big key point there. If you don't break the bar, then you don't get a shield. But let's see what happens with this. Nice. Let's see what we have. 24k shield. We're fine. We're fine. We're absolutely fine right now. Absolutely fine. The shield may not even break. Bam. Look at that. Shield didn't even break. We actually survived through the whole thing. Hell yeah. There we go. Another break. Okay, sick. Bailu's ultimate's ready again. Austin's going to get a break with this. Yeah, we're definitely building a huge shield now. And remember, your break effect determines like the super break effect too. So you can just have a break effect. It's like he turns your damage so to, into so much. It's crazy. He's so good. I'm actually gonna just use the train. It's kind of waiting, but. Here we go. More sped. Skill. Bam. And he's back to go again. So yeah, we had to go through the phase twice, but as long as you're playing, as long as you're, again, like I said, as long as you've built your characters and you plan your team out correctly, you can get to the end of these fights. No freaking problem. Like, it's so... I, I know people struggle on this, but if you have, I full you should have. By this point in the game, if you're at this stage of the story of the game, you should have characters that are capable of doing this, right? You should have your characters built enough to be capable of doing this. Let's see. Yeah, we always Our shield is. Oh, this is a decent size. We'll be okay. We will survive when we get hit. Back around to smack the train into him again. Maybe the train will kill him. No. no, but it gave us a bigger shield. Big enough that we will definitely survive. We don't even need we don't even need to use Bailu's ult. This is what I'm saying. There are times you're gonna need it, but if you if you have enough characters, so characters like Trailblazer, characters like Asta, and characters like Welt, they are with their multiple hits are going to do really, really, really well in these fights. Really, really well. That's probably the biggest thing. Any character that has multiple hits is going to do fantastic in fights for getting that toughness bar down. And then obviously if you have um, if you have uh, Ron May, she's going to be the absolute best companion for all this. And that's it. That's why, wasn't it? No, that was. Never mind. Awesome. There you go. That was my last clear for the day. Let's see what we got. Crap. Crap. Garbage. There you go. Alright. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video, right? Like, I, I feel like I've showcased a lot of whale teams. I've showcased some characters you can use that are available to you free to play. Some standard banner five stars you can use. Some different team comps there. You can use Dot. You can use Follow-Up Attack. I think Follow-Up Attack is going to actually be the best. I just don't have a Follow-Up Attack team really built on this account. Maybe on when I get one of my other accounts, my Clara account. And my Follow-Up Attack account is really what it is. Uh, up to snuff. Up to basically up to this point in the story. Then I will showcase that again. But... Let me know what you think down below. What team comps are you running? Give people advice, answer questions, ask questions. If you need more help, please come on over to my Discord. Please consider leaving a like, a comment, a subscribe, something, anything along those lines. And with that, I think that's going to be the end of this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.